to start next topic is intelligent agent so before learning the uh, intelligent agent what is an agent we will learn then what is an intelligent agent is so to in order to learn the intelligent we have to firstly go understand some terminology used in this topic so firstly we know the terms first one is performance measure of agent agent you know what it is then how to measure the performance of an agent it is a criteria which determines how successful an agent is means suppose uh, you have uh, you are using your younger brother as an agent to write in your examination of something so in an online mode who is able to find out who is giving the examination or either you are giving or your younger brother is giving so you have put your younger brother as an agent but what is the performance of your younger brother who is in your 12th standard and you are in your btech final year how can your younger brother perform well in that examination suppose you have um, hire an external agent or uh, someone who has already completed his btech and ask him to write your examination in place of you in an online mode so that uh, other person think that you have given your examination so when you measure the performance of that hired person who is giving your examination and that uh, your younger brother who is giving your examination there is a, a huge difference because uh, the learning of that uh, younger brothers who is was in 12th standard only and that person who has already completed his bachelor of technology as having enormous information and knowledge regarding this subject so how to judge a performance measure of an agent it is the criteria which determines how successful an agent is now behavior of an agent is also an important aspects it is the action that agent performs after any given sequence of percepts uh, how uh, an agent is going to behave it depends upon the percepts it is gaining through the perceptors means uh, just like in humans we have five senses we have sense the each and everything of the environment and then how you are going to react it is the behavior of your human being and just like the behavior of a gent suppose you have touched the fire then uh, your skin uh, burn then how you are going to react that it is that your skin is burn and you are, you may be crying or anything that this is the behavior of a human being and suppose an uh, agent is uh, doing something based upon the inputs is it is given it is has taken from the environment then how this behavior of the agent decides the performance someone is asking something uh, if you are if you have any question you can write in the chat box because internet connection is very slow then we have percepts what is the meaning of percept it refers to the agent's perceptual inputs at any given instant what are the percepts percepts are the agent's perceptual inputs it are the perceptual inputs at any given instant of time means uh, what are the inputs are gathered through perceptual inputs then percept sequence what are the percept sequence it is the history of all that an agent it is a history of all that an agent has perceived till that just like human beings have learned uh, or have a lot of enormous data and perceived a lot of things till now just like that machine which it is the history of all that an agent has perceived till date and then we have agent function what are the agent function it is a map from the percept sequence to an action uh, what is actuators uh, actuators are the uh, devices that cause a machine or other devices to operate you can think of uh, just a uh, Uh, replacement of what effectors? What are the effectors? An organ or a cell that acts in a response to a stimulus. Effectors comes for use of humans, and actu actuators comes for the use of machine. If you are talking about machine, then we talk about actuators. If you talked about humans, we will talk about effectors. So these are some terms we will use in, in today's lecture. So let's have an 
रिविजन वंस अगेन परफॉर्मेंस मेजर ऑफ एजेंट बिहेवियर ऑफ एजेंट परसेप्ट परसेप्ट सीक्वेंस एजेंट फंक्शन एक्टिवेटर्स एंड द फैक्टर्स सो लेट्स स्टार्ट वॉट आर द एजेंट्स एन एजेंट इज एनी थिंग इट कैन बी थिंक ऑफ एन एज एन एंटिटी वॉट इज एन एजेंट please write in the chat box if you have any question i will answer your all queries and questions an agent is an entity that is able to carry out some task usually to help a human user agent can be biologic that is people or animal for example or it may be a machine or a program that can be act as an agent so what is an agent it is an entity that is able to carry out some task usually to help a human user agents can be biologic for example pupil or an or animal and they can be a machine like robot or a computational program any software program therefore an agent is anything that can perceive its environment through sensors and acting upon that environment through actuators and effectors if you are talking about machines then we think of actuators if you are talking about any biologic uh agent that is people or animal then we talked about factors so what are the agents an agent is anything that can perceive its environment through sensors and acting upon that environment through actuators or effectors so what are the different type of agents first one is a human agent in human agent what are the effectors like eyes ears etc for sensors sensor means your for getting the input and for hand leg etc for your effectors in uh, a robotic agent cameras infrared range finders for sensor and virtual motors for actuators and software agent has encoded bit string as its program and actions let's have a diagram on this uh, here is an environment and here is an agent how agent perceive the environment through the sensors agent through the sensor perceive the environment and based upon the environment inputs it performs some action through effectors through effectors if you are talking about human beings then effectors if you are talking about machine then we talked about actuators then what are the intelligent agents a self directed entity which acts upon its environment using sensors and actuators activators to achieve certain goal it can learn from its environment uh, what can qualify as an intelligent agent anything any entity that is self directed means there is a, a zero or minimal interference of human beings uh, on this deciding something that like a self directed entity which acts upon its environment using sensors and actuators to achieve certain goal it can learn from its environment just think of a fridge of your in your house can act as self directed it uh, it examine what are the uh, entities in your fridge if uh, suppose a curd has been finished in your fridge then it can call upon the vendor directly without can any without any interference of you and uh, or place the order of the curd in your fridge and suppose vegetables are finished then they that fridge can ask this for thing also difference between effectors and sensors effectors and sensors let's have uh, back uh Uh, what uh, uh, what are the effectors? An organ or a cell that acts in response to a stimulus. Uh, effectors are going to response on a stimulus. And how you get the stimulus? Through sensors, you get the stimulus. Uh, read the last line. Effectors, an organ or cell that acts in response to a stimulus. And how you get that stimulus? Through sensors, you get those stimulus. Understand? So effectors. are for actions and sensors to get the stimulus on which basis your effectors perform some action understand so we are on intelligent agent uh, 
Uh, so what is an intelligent agent? A self-directed entity which acts upon its environment using sensors and actuators to achieve certain goal. It can learn from its environment. For example, Alexa and Siri are the intelligent agent. They get the information from the environment. Just suppose uh, uh, they process your natural language that what you are saying, it gets the input from the environment and perform action independently without the interference of the human being. So Alexa and C are some example of intelligent agent. Following are some rules for an intelligent agent. What are there are four rules that an intelligent agent must follow. First one, ability to perceive the environment. Second one, observation. Third one, decision. And the last one is rational action. If these four things are there in an agent, then we can say it is an intelligent agent. So uh, firstly, an intelligent agent must have to the ability to perceive the environment in which it is placed. Uh, it has the ability to obs uh, uh, ability of observation. It can decide all alone and then it can do some rational action. So what are the properties of agents? First one, intelligence. An intel agent must possess the intelligence. Autonomy means it can perform things by itself only. It has must have the ability to learn. It must cooperate with other agent also. Suppose uh, we have an example like uh, you want to purchase a, a book you want to purchase a book online and uh, you have play, put a, a intelligent agent that works on behalf of you to purchase the book online and suppose there is an online portal which is selling books and that online portal has also placed an intelligent agent and suppose two intelligent agents are talking to each other and they are very cooperating Suppose uh, one this your uh, buyer agent is asking for some questions, some queries like what is the price of your book, and then uh, answer comes from that vendor side. And suppose uh, you have the ability of bargaining also that can be done by the intelligent agent. So uh, these intelligent agent must cooperate to each other. And what are the other agent properties? First one is the extent to which they can be trusted the extent to which they can be trusted with delegated tasks and whether or not they degrade gracefully means they these uh, how much you can trust these intelligent agent their delegated tasks and how gracefully they degrade and last one is an agent's mobility what is the mobility mobility is defined as the ability to move about on the internet or another network means how well it can perform on some other platform also it decides the mobility of the agent so i am revising again today's topic intelligent agent in next class we will uh, discuss about what are the different type of intelligent agents so today we have learned about the some have a brief description of a history of ai then we have introduced the intelligent agent. Before this, we have some terms like performance measure of intelligent, behavior of agent, percepts, percept sequence, agent function, actuators. Actuators are what? A devices that cause a machine or other devices to operate. And effectors are what? An organ or cell that acts in a response to a stimulus. Effectors are for actions and sensors for taking the input. What is an agent? An agent is an entity that is able to carry out some task, usually to help a human user. Agents can be biologic, for example, animals or human, and they are maybe a machine like robots or some software programs that can act on behalf of you. So therefore, an agent is anything that can perceive its environment through sensors and acting upon the environment through actuators or effectors. There are three types of uh, agents. First one is human agent, in which ears, eye sensors are act as a sensor and hand legs are as effectors. In robotic agents, we have camera, infrared as sensors and motors as actuators. Software agent has encoded bit string as its program and action. And here is an uh, diagram that uh, how uh, agent through sensors perceive the environment and perform some action with the help of effectors. 
you can see that like here is a hand and here is a leg that uh, and effectors are pointing out these hands and legs that how this uh, agent is going to take some action based upon the input taken from the environment through perceptors an intelligent agent is something that is self directed uh, entity which act upon the environment using sensors and actuators to achieve certain goal for example what are the some example are alexa and siri and there are four rules first one ability to perceive the environment observations decision and rational actions what are the four rules an intelligent agent must follow first one is ability to perceive the environment observations decision and the rational action uh, fourth one is very important uh, rational action what is the meaning of rational uh, we will study in next class uh, after we study the type of agent what is the meaning of rational what are the things that qualify as a rational activities and the rational actions and how a machine can perform these rational actions or uh, every human can perform rational action or we can think of an ideal situation where each and every human being is performing rationally so after that we have some properties of agent that must possess by an intelligent agent that are intelligence autonomy ability to learn cooperation other agent properties are how they are trusted and how they are movable so we are done with today's class we will discuss type of agent and uh, what is rational thinking and other things in our artificial intelligence subjects oh, in uh, uh, we have uh, our class on thursday i guess so we will meet on thursday till then keep learning i will upload today's lecture notes on google classroom from there you can download today's lecture notes